It's absolutely wonderful to be here. This is the third year that the Irish Embassy in London has uh, run an event, uh, a celebration of not only St. Patrick, but of women in various disciplines, where we can all go into different rooms in this beautiful embassy and listen to experts in their fields of literature, of diplomacy and of STEM, of science, engineering, technical studies and um, and hear from these women who work in the business. It's a great, great privilege. And they've asked me to MC. Don't know why. There has to be one flaw. There has to be one flaw in every in every perfect evening. Look, the only way I can justify any level of profile is trying to do good with it. And there are still issues that if somebody's going to shine a light in a microphone, I can I can I can lend my voice for people who don't have that voice. Um, Ashling B tonight spoke so eloquently about our uh, fight for bodily autonomy and the repeal movement. Um, what's wonderful historically we have a population here that haven't had the services or um, access uh, to services that they haven't had before. If I can do anything to help I will of course. I thought it was a great pleasure for the Irish Pensioners Choir to be invited here tonight. It's our first time here for St. Bridges do. So it was a good pleasure. It was lovely to come here tonight and I think a lot of people have remarked how nice it was to have us singing here. That was, that was lovely. Really enjoyed it. It's such an honour to be here alongside such great women um, tonight. And uh, yeah, I really enjoyed the performance. Yeah, it's such a great, it's such a great occasion, and um, it's great that we have events like this so that we can celebrate women and um, and what they do and and everything. So it's great. But it's just also really nice to be here to celebrate the beginning of spring, celebrate women in you know the height of their fields like arts and literature and uh, diplomacy. So it's just like an awesome night that the embassy are putting on, and I'm so delighted to be a part of it. Here, so yeah, it's just completely like inspiring to be around these women and to be a part of this night it's just amazing Electric. The room was full of love and um, excitement and I think everybody here is a big fan of St. Bridget for sure and a fan of the Irish Embassy here in London. I certainly am and I'm thrilled uh, to be here performing for the first time and uh, getting to sing some of my own songs and getting to have a moment also to celebrate the reason we're all here which is St. Bridget. I mean Derry Girls has been such a smash hit success, were you unsurprised by that, did you always know you had something special or did it take you by surprise just how big the success is? I was very surprised, I didn't, th you always hope that something's going to go well but you can never ever tell, uh, the, the audience is a wily thing, you can never bank, you can never be too confident. I did know that I had a wonderful time filming it and I did know that the scripts were extraordinary and I know that I I knew that I laughed every day, but you can never tell until it's out to the audience. And we were so incredibly lucky with our audiences. They are so loyal, they're so diverse, they're from every country. And I think it just is a testament to the power of Lisa McGee's writing and to our audiences that were waiting for, for a comedy like this. Yeah, no, I'm overwhelmed by it. It's a really beautiful thing. I don't know, season three. We'll see it soon. You're going filming it soon, is that right? Uh, we are filming it later on this year. And I'm afraid that's all I could tell. They've done something very clever in that they haven't really told us that much because if I knew more, I'd tell you. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs>